Hey everyone, Obi-Wan Coyote here. Just making a quick video about my Super People settings. I know a lot of people have had questions, so I just want to go over some of the settings that I pick. Uh, obviously, language, English. Uh, I play in 1080p. Uh, I use borderless mode for the convenience of being able to go to my stream PC and to hop over to Discord quickly, but I highly recommend playing in full screen if it's possible. Uh, I uncap my frame rate. I have a 60 FPS limit lobby frame rate. I have VSync off, I have smooth frame rate off, I have a NVIDIA Reflex low latency off. Uh, my brightness is set to 2.4. Uh, I'm currently playing on a 93 FOV, though that might change in the future. Rendering 100, and I play on high graphics across the board. Um, I don't really have a logic for this. The game looks good to me, the frames are good, so I kind of just keep it at that point. I have depth of field off, and I highly recommend turning that off. I have my sharp sharpness a little bit lower. Um, just because there's some bitrate problems you I, you might experience in OBS if you're streaming or recording. Uh, I have my DLSS on ultra quality and I have AMD fidelity on off. Uh, when it comes to audio, I typically have this all on. I just have it muted for this video. Um, I have mostly everything on max except music. I keep it down pretty low. I have all chat open and nobody ever talks to me in all chat, but it's there. Uh, I always make sure to turn down my voice input and output because games typically and to amplify your mic way louder than it actually is. Uh, for my controls, uh, I don't invert. My current send settings are all set to 35. Um, that's the number I use in PUBG, and that's what I just started with as kind of like a baseline to try to figure out what kind of sense I want for this game. And it just worked. Uh, it just worked out for me, so I never changed it. So I'm at 35, and I'm probably going to stay at 35 for now. Um, I don't use advanced scope settings. I keep it disabled. Uh, I like the, the universal uh, scope mode. Um, I toggle crouch. I hold walk. I hold run. I hold look around. Hold breath. Uh, I lean hold. I also aim hold. And I also ADS hold as well. Uh, I recommend switching to hold. It's definitely a better way to aim than toggle. Uh, for my key settings, I have a lot of different keybinds, and you'll notice some really weird keybinds, and those usually are the ones that are connected to my mouse. Um, a couple things that I do differently is I put jump on shift spacebar, and I put parkour on spacebar. So if I want to jump, I hit both these keys, and if I want to parkour, I only spacebar. I highly recommend making a separate keybind for jump and a separate keybind for parkour. Uh, all these are pretty much default pretty much default um one thing that i highly recommend especially you have to do this if you use hold to ads you have to have a separate aim and a separate ads key uh, i use control for aim and i use obviously right click for ads but if you are going to use hold you have to separate these so if you're having a problem figuring out how to hold that's probably what's in your way uh, I don't use my scroll wheel to switch weapons. I don't like doing it. I usually use one, two, three, four. Uh, use active skills is on up. I know that's pretty weird, uh, but it's actually on my mouse. Um, all these are pretty default. All these are defaults as well. Um, I highly recommend putting things like emergency kit and first aid and bandages and even maybe power bars and capsules on, on very easy to use keys. Um, most of these are on my mouse keys. I have a mouse that has a lot of buttons. So a lot of these are on my mouse. I highly recommend putting them in spots where they're easy to access and uh, super quick to use. Um, I still haven't figured out a convenient button for me for craft item. I'm definitely going to change this from Alt-1. Uh, Alt-1 is kind of a pain in the butt to hit, especially since Alt and 1 are for other things as well. So sometimes I hit Alt by itself and 1 by itself. And, you know, so I'm definitely going to try to figure out a different key for Alt-1 for my craft item. Uh, all these are default except honk horn. I put that on my left click because I like to honk my horn a lot. Uh, this is something that I think a lot of people ask about. Um, when it comes to switching seats, the default is usually control one, control two, control three, control four, etc. Uh, I don't recommend that. I actually put driver's seat on W. So as soon as I switch to the driver's seat, I'm already moving forward. Uh, you, you can double bind those. I have seat two on E, seat three on Q, and seat four on T. And I use all, all four of those seats. Uh, for me, it's very important to get from a seat to another seat as quickly as possible. So I have these very specific key binds and they work. They don't, they don't, uh, they don't double bind with any other keys. 
Uh, I have my speak on K that's on my mouse. Um, couple default stuff. Uh, lots of these are default. I moved my expand mini map to Y because I don't really ever use it. And whenever it was on N, I would accidentally hit it. So I moved that. Uh, mostly default things. I moved my smart, tink, smart pink to V. Um, I don't like using middle mouse for it. So I moved it to V. V is also the default for change view, but that's not something I'm ever going to need. I'm probably never going to be playing TPP to FPP. So that's not the biggest deal for me. All these are pretty default, and those are replay settings. Uh, for my firing mode, I use a cr red crosshair. Uh, this is pure preference. Uh, I've used white and red. They're both pretty good for me. I highly recommend whenever you're picking up a gun that they're set to be in full auto off the bat. If you land next to someone, it's always nice to have your gun in full auto. Um, I have automatic reload on. I had it off originally, but I realized, especially with the one-shot sniper, the X40, having automatic reload is very convenient. On um, my auto equip uh, attachments, I have all of these on by default. I do not usually display my network stats, but I recommend it so you can see what server you're on and what kind of ping you're getting. Um, I definitely recommend also messing with these sliders. If you don't know what these sliders are, once you reach a certain amount of an item, it will stop highlighting the item once you've reached it. So for example, if I have 155, it will highlight 55 until I've reached 150, and then it'll stop highlighting it on the ground. So yeah, I've set these to my personal preference. Uh, I highly recommend messing with these. Uh, the less things that are, you know, in your eyesight, the more likely you're able to see loot that you actually do need. Um, I do use auto compression bandages. Uh, all these are pretty default. I did turn off the control guide. It's just a little bit too cluttered for me. Uh, you can customize your item palette here at the bottom as well. And yeah, that's all my settings for now. Uh, I bet you things are going to change over time with, uh, with the game only being an open beta. But that's all the settings I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.